Sanjeev here with another episode of Croco Tips. Last time we discussed data tables, how to use it in with Jet Engine, and we got a lot of responses. Seems people like it, and there are some questions also. So I want to address all these questions in this video, uh, one by one. So let's start. Alright, so the first question is how we can add buttons like CSV export, print or copy buttons. Okay, so last time in the video I have mentioned that these are the basic and advanced documentation for data tables. You can almost at utilize 90% of functionalities here. Now 10% it depends like uh, server side coding which require PHP and I don't recommend that to use it right now because in jet engine the database schema is different and here we will use flat php or on mysql queries which will make conflict in future because the croco block it's updating on weekly or monthly basis due to which you have to update your code also so first thing let's integrate the export buttons so let's search for data table export file export okay so these button we need to integrate so you can copy csv excel pdf or even print okay this is a simple code we need to add only these three lines but in addition to that we have to add these libraries which works for these functions okay i already copied them i will add it to the description as well i will copy them right now our data table shows something like that i'll go to elementor and this is our html widget html okay i will open it and i will replace this code here so we got all the libraries now we have to initiate the function so i'll copy from data table and here data table okay that's it so these are the functionality we need you can remove and add as per your requirement let's update refresh the page and we got our buttons okay let's export it to csv and i got the csv file with all the relevant information okay let's try print we have print also perfect you can surely uh, fine-tune these edges and all those stuff okay and you can export to PDF also so this is beautiful PDF okay now this was the answer for this question and it was I think today asking element uh, the community also on Facebook now the second thing is we want to translate these information okay previous next pagination or search etc we want to translate them okay I will revert the changes to the default and we go to data tables examples and here we have something called language option okay so what you can do you can translate these parameter to your own language or to your own terms okay uh, let's add them to our data table you can directly copy you paste it here okay showing page dash of pages so you want to change it to records or whatever you want uh, in the question specifically he asked about next entries and previous and search let's change search okay so you go up and there is language there is complete documentation let's see whether we have search okay we have search okay and i will paste it somewhere here and since this is, these are attendees, so I will type search for attendees and update. Let's see. 
so now it's search for attendees similarly you can change the previous next and others also let's try with pagination we'll copy from here copy let's paste it somewhere here instead of first let, let me just write something first two or last two just to make sure it's updating okay so first we don't have we will change previous and next because first is not showing next two and previous two refresh okay previous two and next two so you can translate it to your language for example i want to translate it in urdu something like that let's see the result okay so you can translate it to your own language i mentioned in last tutorial also and now as well there are bundles of possibility which you can apply on data table okay now there was a specific question about inline editing you can surely use inline editing but for that you have to build some custom php and just like i mentioned earlier the custom php can conflict with the schema or the structure of croco block so right now i don't recommend that but if you really want to use it there is documentation on that data table inline editing okay so these are inline editing so you have to create some php file then transfer the data over there if you want to add something for example test you can create directly okay just create it here so this was a short tutorial about how to add these two three functionalities if you have any question write in the comments thank you so much